What's happening, BDA family? I thought I'd do this video because, you know, Butcher asked me if I wanted to do any. There was not, you know, a quiet week of boxing, really. Not a lot going on. So he said, if you've got any spare time, do a vid. And I've got plenty of it at the moment because when I come home from work, it's just fucking pissing it down for four days over here. So I'm basically stuck in the house. It's just too wet and too damp to go out anywhere. So plenty of time on my hands. So I thought I'd do this video. I want to talk about Eddie Hearn, for, for one. Obviously, Joshua. The Tyson Fury fight coming this week. I suppose it's fight week. I've got to show some sort of enthusiasm for it, shall we say. But I will not be doing star jumps when I'm talking about it. So switch off if, you, if you're waiting for that. But yeah, there's a few topics I want to get on to. Let's start with Eddie Hearn. Now, he's had a stinking month. He really has. And it's took its toll on him. He looks like he's... <laughs> It looks like he wants to jump off a fucking bridge, doesn't he? He really does. And this is what happens when you overhype your fighters. Especially with, with the, I suppose with the Kate Taylor, you got lucky with that one. But if, if that had gone wrong, God dear, Hearn would have been on suicide watch. Because Joshua, he took that bad enough. He's took that worse than the Anthony Joshua has. He has. Anthony Joshua was relieved to lose. I mean, what sort of champion is relieved to lose his belts? And I like Joshua, I do. But just, just, he's been leaving some bad tastes in my mouth lately. He has, just the way he re reacted. I mean, he should be devastated he lost them times. In that fashion as well. There's losing and there's losing terribly. But it, it's like the pressure's come off him. It's like he wanted to lose to release that pressure. He couldn't handle the pressure of being the heavyweight champion of the world. And this is a pressure that Eddie Hearn brings on him. You know, he brings this pressure by the things he says, by the the hype he puts on Joshua. He's got Joshua going all over the America on TV stations, radio stations. He's got, I'm not saying he's the one that gets Joshua to fucking grease up his six pack and go on Instagram. He probably don't do that, but you know, everywhere you look, Joshua's there, isn't he? On the, on the fucking TV. If he's not driving a car, he's got some headphones there that they're trying to sell you. You know, next he's going to be the fucking L'Oreal man, isn't it? Because I am worth it. Anthony Joshua, because I am worth it. You can imagine it. Fucking. <laughs> he needs to, needs to forget about that and get back to boxing. And Eddie Hearn needs to let Joshua do that. And Joshua, I see an interview with David Hay where he said that Joshua needs to start getting some real tough sparring in and I think that get prepared for these tough nights because Joshua just doesn't look prepared for them. And the way, I, the way I've been watching Joshua f well, lately, I've been seeing a lot of flaws. I just think anyone that's small with decent hand speed and a decent enough power that can come underneath his shots and let their own go is going to cause Joshua all sorts of problems. I just don't see how he's going to fix it any time soon. I just don't think he has that Vladimir Klitschko mindset and brain, boxing brain. And I just think it's going to be a long road. That's why he has to take the rematch, because that's his only chance of getting them belts back. And even then, the rematch for me has to be in, in America or Mexico, because in the UK, he just won't get the credit. Oh, he's in, the, you know, he's in his safe space in the UK where he can take his peds. And all that, like, you know what I mean? So he's not going to get any credit for it. I like the idea of going back to America, putting the, the wrong right, or even going to Mexico, 100,000, Ruiz is talking about, yeah. I mean, that will that will put the Ruiz thing to bed. That will, you wouldn't need a trilogy if it goes to Mexico and knocks Ruiz out over there. But Eddie Hearn, obviously, took the Joshua thing a lot worse than Joshua did. And with the Katie Taylor, it could have got even worse. I had Taylor just nicking that... I mean, I know the, the keep, people that keep saying, oh, UK got exposed. But she's not the UK. She's Irish for a start. But I, was, I, I, I had a nick in it just. Just. but Because that woman, she brought the heat. But she was a bit like um, Kelly's opponent. Just very, very busy, but throwing a lot of mush. Just, just, there was just hands moving, and but there's no technique behind it. No, you know. She was walking forward, square on, with her fucking face in the air. But she was brave, and she, the will to win was second to none. And she just... Taylor's proved that down the back straight, she fucking fades. Terribly. 
and um, that happened again. I think anyone that can take Taylor to the latter rounds could probably stop her in the end. But she's a good advert for women's boxing. It's got to be better than Clarissa Shields, that disgusting, vile woman, Clarissa Shields. What a horrible woman she is, man. And she's, she, she's ugly, not just on the inside, but she's definitely ugly on the outside. I mean, I think I'd rather look Medusa in the eyes than look her in the eyes. <laughs> Says it all. But yeah, we. I think we need Taylor for women's boxing. Clarissa Shields is not exactly going to wear the crown with grace, shall we say. So yeah, the, stop trying to troll me about the UK got exposed because, like I said, it was only Joshua, really, that got exposed that night. Callum Smith did the business. Yes, with Hassan and Dam, a terrible opponent. One that Eddie Hearn should never have put in there. And it's not really told us much about where Smith is when he's going to be fighting these these top guys in that division. I still think he's the best there, but there's still a lot to prove with Callum Smith. And I don't think... Just another wasted camp. Just another wasted camp on Hassan. Just like Golovkin wasted a camp on Rolls, and Smith's done the same. So I have to be fair. But yeah, I mean, Hearn... Hearn's got to regroup. You know, he's got a lot of young, exciting fighters coming through, especially for the American side. And, you know, there's the Britain's going for a bit of a, a lull at the moment. With, with, you know, it's that transition period where a lot of the old, you know, good fighters that we had, they're, they're starting to retire and starting to lose. And the, the new generation are coming through, not quite ready for the step up. But with her, and he's so he's under so much pressure to, to keep Sky happy, Adam Smith and DeZone. He's having to put some of these young guys in a bit too early, and I think that's why some of them are getting exposed a bit. But British boxing will be back. There's no doubt in that. We've you know we've still got we've still got the Gypsy King, who I'm going to get onto now. Um, this could be another banana skin. I'm just hoping Tyson Fury hasn't overlooked this like Joshua did. Because I can't, I can't handle another embarrassing KO defeat from one of our guys. I just, uh, I will actually. I think I'll have a breakdown myself if the Gypsy King does. <laughs> I think I will. But um, I'm expecting Tyson Fury to do the business. He's looking in tremendous shape. I just hope he don't go in there and clown like the fucking idiot. To, to, to you know, to impress the Americans because you know we all know the Americans do like. Um, the razzmatazz and all that lot and the flashy arrogant stuff they like that but that's the sort of stuff that can get you knocked out in the heavyweight division and this Schwarzer guy he, he's an, an unknown quantity really and he I mean, and they're dangerous he looks strong he looks typical Eastern European doesn't he he's got one of them fucking square heads with his nose sniffing his ear roll because it's to the fucking right of his face he's obviously took a few on the nose and he, he's got a head like a block of wood so I bet he's He's going to be tough, and he's been training in the mountains, Rocky Balboa style. So he's coming to fight, but I expect Tyson Fury. I mean, for Tyson Fury, that that shape, that bad, can can get a result against Wilder, and everyone knows he won that fight. I mean, what is a in shape Tyson Fury with a hundred million contract to fight for? You know, what, what's he going to be like? And I just feel, I'm hoping anyway that we get the the best of Fury where he comes and impresses and I expect Fury to, I expect Fury to win on points I'm, uh, uh, that guy looks like he's quite tough I haven't seen a lot of him I'm not going to pretend that uh, I'm you know that I know a lot about this guy because I don't but please for please God not another upset not another devastating night for UK boxing I don't think I can handle that again Thank mm -hmm. you.